Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be showing you the books and one bookish thing, two bookish things, that I got while I was in London, England, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so obviously while I was there, I went book shopping. I ended up going to a couple of the places that people suggested that I go. I went to Foils, which was enormous, and I went to Waterstones a couple of times, and I went to a couple of other random bookshops around. I didn't get too many things because obviously I had to be able to put them in my bag. And I didn't want my bag to be overweight, so I couldn't get too many books, but I did get a couple. And almost everything is also Harry Potter related, except for one thing. So while I was in Waterstones on the first day that I was there, I ended up picking up these editions of Harry Potter that I didn't know existed. They're the deluxe Harry Potter UK editions, I guess. And they come in these slip cases, which are really cool. I think. So I think this one is the deluxe edition of this one, I believe. Let's open it and check it out, because I haven't opened them yet. On the back it has the owl, the same as this, so I figure these are the same editions. I'm gonna take the plastic off. So they come... I can't take it out. So they come in the jacket, and then on the front, is the owl that is on the back of this. See it? And it's shiny. Oh wow, and then the end pages are beautiful pictures. Now I've got this one. While I was at Waterstones, I also picked up the Chamber of Secrets Deluxe Edition that has green on it, and on the cover is a little picture of Dobby. These are harder to open than I thought. So there's the picture of Dobby on the cover. And then I just went ahead and I got the Prisoner of Azkaban and the Goblet of Fire. So now I've got the four, I think, that are out. I don't know if the other deluxe editions are out because I didn't see them anywhere and I looked. It's also the same castle on all the fronts of the slip covers. Is that what they're called? I don't know. This one has a picture of the night bus on it and of course it's shiny and amazing. And for the Goblet of Fire, the picture on the front is just Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Shiny. So now I'll have these four sitting on my shelves and I love the way that they look and they're really colorful, so. I'm happy with this purchase. <laughs> also just Harry Potter related that I don't think I've shown before is I got this big Funko Pop of Harry on the Hogwarts Express and I just felt like I should throw that in here because it's amazing and I love it. <laughs> then when I was at a different Waterstones, I picked up Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman illustrated by Chris Riddell. Chris Riddell is one of my favorite illustrators and I love Neil Gaiman's books and I also really enjoyed Neverwhere. I, I didn't know that they had teamed up for Neverwhere. I knew that they had done covers and illustrated editions for Fortunately the Milk, Coraline, and the Graveyard book, but I didn't know that they did Neverwhere, so when I saw it, I had to have it. There are pictures in it. So this will end up going right here in my Neil Gaiman collection. Oh my gosh. I've said in videos before that all of my Neil Gaiman books are different sizes, and this is another different size. Get your shit together, Neil Gaiman. Make your books all the same size. While we were in London, we ended up going to the Harry Potter Studios Tours. What is it called? Warner Brothers Studios Tours or something like that, but it's Harry Potter. And they have all of the props, not all of them, but a lot of the props and sets that they filmed Harry Potter in. And they have this one area where you can fly around on a broomstick, and they have little videos. And I actually did get the video, like I bought it, because I'm only gonna go there once, I don't think I'll ever go again, so I wanted to have it and it's so funny. I'll put a little clip of it here. But they also have pictures, so I got me riding on a broom. Can you see me? Yes. I ended up getting a signed limited edition print by Stuart Craig, he signed it, so I bought one. And it is awesome. So I ended up getting this one. It is beauteous. And it has the Hogwarts castle. I think that this is Durmstrang coming to the castle because they have hats like the Durmstrang people have. But these are like concept art, I guess, from the movie and how they wanted to do the movie and everything. Right now it's in plastic, but I'm gonna get it framed. This is number 33 out of 500. So there's only 500 of these. And I will be putting it on my wall somewhere, maybe. I don't really have a lot of walls. It'll go somewhere though, <laughs> because I love it. And the last thing that I got while I was in London, the last book that I got, is a big heavy one. I ended up getting, I splurged again, I splurged a lot in London. I ended up getting the deluxe edition of the illustrated 
Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It is so heavy. These are so freaking heavy. And I haven't opened it yet, so I am going to open it. I don't know if it's any different than the regular illustrated edition, but I'm gonna find out. Yeah, these editions don't, like they never made them in America. So while I was there, I picked it up because you can't find it here. <gasps> Boom, it's so big. Ooh, holy moly. That is so cool. Yeah, so that's Diagon Alley, and it has it on the back, too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and it's got gold pages. Gold, oh, gilded, gilded? Is that the word, pages? It just has all the illustrations in the world. The end pages are beautiful. And then, in the back of the book was this Diagon Alley North Side poster. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, wow. So it's the... It's the what's on the cover of the actual book, but the picture version of it, and it's a huge poster. Whoa! Wow, that's awesome. Now I gotta get a frame for this too. So that is awesome, worth it. One bad thing about this is that this is just kind of rubbed off a bit from the cover, like the Diagon Alley image that's in this in gold. Um, kind of rubbed off when I put it back in, so you probably don't want to take it in and out too many times, or else that will go away off of the cover, but I love it. So that's all the books and bookish things that I got while I was in London. Let me know what the coolest edition of Harry Potter that you own is, because I want it. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!